Okay, welcome to another playthrough. This time it's Pandemic The Cure. And this video is for Ori Avtalion. <laughs> I'm sure I pronounced this wrong. Salty Horse on Board Game Geek. I already did a playthrough after directly after Essen, but I did a major rules mistake and he pointed me to it so I had to delete it from the website. And since then he's desperately waiting for another playthrough. So here it is. Have fun with it. Hopefully I'll do it right this time. I usually don't do any rules explanation in my playthroughs, but um, this is so easy to teach, so I think I'll just go quickly over it while playing. Everyone who knows Pandemic, this is the DICE version of it. We have six regions or continents to save, number from one to six. We have the infection rate track. We have an outbreak track. If one of these reaches the skull, we lose. We have a CDC. We have a card where we mark our cured diseases. We have... Just like in the original game, give me a yellow one, four different diseases, where's the yellow one, here, to cure, one, yeah, one in each color, and in the back there are 12 dice of each color, then we have a couple of event cards, I'll come to that later, but I'll just give them a quick shuffle. And there are always three open. And we have seven characters. I will play with three. Because that's the number I can handle solo. And just for the fun of it, let's draw them randomly. Let's go for the generalist. Containment specialist. And the scientist. I think that's a good combination. So the generalist has each character has its own dice. Usually five, but the generalist, the gray dice, he has seven dice. That's her special ability, and she can ignore the first buyer hazard rolled which I will explain later. Then we have the containment specialists. He has five dice. And his special abilities is when entering a region, put one die of each color with two or more dice in there to the treatment center. The treatment center is the center here of the ring. And he has a special icon on his dice where he can put three dice from the treatment center into the infection bag. I'll explain that a bit later. Then we have the scientist. She's also a great help because when trying to find a cure, she adds plus two. Okay, and that's the starting setup almost. All characters start on region number one, and then we draw 12 dice. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's roll them all. For starting setup, we re roll crosses. Okay, and then they are placed on the regions of their corresponding number. And just like in the board game, as soon as there are more than three of a color in a region, like here, you have an outbreak. But during setup, you just re-roll. This cannot be an outbreak in setup. I rolled a four, and this is a five. These dice are not your regular dice. Each die has a cross and the yellow die has two fives and two twos and one four. 
And this is also marked on the regions here that says the 5 region and the 2 region is more likely to get yellow dyes and the 4, well, is medium likely. Same goes with red uh, for the 6s and the 1s. So let's reroll the yellow one until we get OK. That's the setup. So, first thing we do, we start with this character. And that's the generalist. She can roll, you always roll all of your dice. And we have a lot of icons here. And I'll explain them to you. If you roll a biohazard symbol, which looks like this, that's bad. This has to be used immediately and this increases infection rate by one per die. And each time the infection rate crosses these crosses from one section to the next one on this kind of explosion marked spot, we have a um, pandemic, um, which I'll explain when it happens. And then we have ships. Ships allow you to travel to an adjacent space. Airplanes allow you to travel to any space. A syringe uh, allows you to treat an infection dye, which is either put him from the region where you are to the treatment center or from the treatment center back into the bag. And then we have those bottles, two bottle samples, which I will explain later. So why not care about the most dangerous place here and start collecting yellow samples. So, she will fly over here. By the way, you can reroll dice as often as you want to. You don't have to place one or use one each time. It's not limited to two rerolls like Yahtzee. You can reroll as often as you want to, but you, t you have the risk of rolling the biohazards, which cannot be rerolled and increase the infection rate. And I forgot to mention, I'm playing the easiest variant. I'm starting on intro because I want to win this game. <laughs> but usually you start here. This is a standard game, but it's pretty tough. So why not start on intro and give you a longer and hopefully successful game. So she used the plane, traveled there. Now she's using her syringe to cure one infection dye by placing it into the treatment center. Then she'll take a sample. You can take a sample only from the treatment center, not from the place where you're on. This is what I messed up in my first playthrough. So she uses her bottle, bottles up this yellow sample and this bottle, including the sample, this is locked. She cannot use it until the cure is found for the yellow disease. Now, I'd like to cure more diseases to get more yellow samples. I'm going for the yellow one. So I will try to... There's a nice overview of uh, the character dyes, which are different for each character. And she has two syringes. And since she, since she has seven dice, she can ignore the first biohazard. So why not keep two of her bottles, re-roll these two and hope, hope for two syringes. Oops, there they are. This is great. So she used two syringes to treat the infection dice, two, two infection dice and take another two yellow samples. She used up all her dice. Then she could give, in the next step, samples to another character on her space, on her region. Um, but there is no one on her region. Then she can try to find the cure. Trying to find the cure is pretty easy. You take all sampled dice of one color. You can only try one color. You roll them and if you have a 13 or higher, you found the cure. Since these dies are not regularized, the, the average is 3. So with 3 dies we have an average of uh, 9. Well, but there is no penalty if you fail. 
So this is 4 plus 2 plus 2, that's an 8. We didn't find the cure. Okay. Next is infect regions. We draw, she draws dice equal to the number of dice shown here. This is 3. Rolls them. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Each die showing across is placed on the CDC and all other ones are placed on the regions showing the same number. And if that be more than three of one color, an outbreak would happen, but there is no, no outbreak. So next character's turn. Okay, maybe we can, can start explaining the, explaining the events. There are always three open event cards. As soon as one is used, the next one is drawn. And these events can be used almost every time and they have a cost of one, two or three of those crossed dice. So if I want to use the containment attempt I use this die, put it back into the bag and I can reroll one player die with a biohazard results, result before it takes effect. That's nice. I have for two dice the re-examined research reroll one die when trying to find a cure. That's nice. And the good planning costs three dice. Set one, two or three player dice to any results except biohazards. So these are our, our jokers kind of. Let's go on with next character, the containment specialist. Roll a biohazard which he has to use immediately this increases infection by one. By the way, these are these nice little syringes here. You put in this ring. And we are still collecting yellow. And we're still having problems with the yellow because we're close to close to an um, outbreak here. So he will use his plane to fly over here. And his special ability, when entering a region, put one die of each color with two or more dies there in the treatment center, which is a red and a yellow one. Then he will use his bottle to take a sample. Oops, that's his sample, of course. He will use his syringe. Yeah, why not? To treat another yellow infection dye. Hmm, and I'm thinking of using the boat to travel to the generalist, give him the yellow dyes, show the sample, so she has four. On the other hand, um, the scientist is the best one to try to find a cure because she gets plus two to the roll. But I cannot reach her, except if I roll again and try to roll a plane, but that's very unlikely. So why not use the ship, go over here, these are all my dice used, and I'll give the sample to the generalist. I cannot try to find a cure because um, I don't have any samples. The giving samples to another player happens before the try to find a cure, so you cannot um, try to find a cure and then pass it on. Then, in fact, regions. We're still at three dice. Nice little bag full of nice little dice. We have two blue and a yellow. Well, this can be dangerous if we roll two sixes, but we didn't. We rolled a one, a yellow two, and a blue six. So everything's fine. Next player, scientist. Scientist is here, and she should get more, maybe get this sample. Care about the blue dice. Well, we'll find out. Let's see what she rolls. She rolls a biohazard. That's plus one infection. 
And that's, well, looks pretty good. She will use a ship to travel over here. She will use a syringe to treat a blue infection dye, so no danger of an outbreak here. Then she'll use another ship to move over to the other guys and then she'll take a yellow sample. Oops, that was a bottle. Then she passed the yellow sample on to the generalist who is, who is on the same space. And we go to the infect region. Step still three dice. One, two, three. Blue, black, and red. Let's hope for some more crosses. Yes, one more. So we could use the reroll when trying to find a cure. That's nice. A blue root three and a red four. Next turn, the generalist. She only rolls four because her three are locked with the samples. That's biohazard. She can, as a special ability, ignore the first biohazard. Um, it doesn't, well, she has to use it, but it doesn't uh, increase infection. And let's see what she can do. I hope she'll find a cure for the yellow one, so she, we could start um, collecting samples for the next one. How about red or blue? We have two, three, four, five, and five, five reds and five blues, so I'll just sample a blue one here, take a sample of a blue one, syringes, I could use syringes to move this die back into the bag, but at the moment I don't care that much, I'll reroll both, hmm, oh one, oh both, oh one, I only reroll one, hoping for something for transportation, Another syringe, I'll roll it again. That's a bottle. Now, I don't want to start to collect uh, more different colors. They just lock up the dice. So I roll again. Another bottle. Oops. Another syringe. Come on! Biohazard. Hmm. That's a bad result. That's her second one. So her. So the infection increases by one. Well, and I'll use the syringe then to put a dye from the treatment center back into the bag. Her next step, give samples. Oh yeah, why not? She'll give the blue sample. You can always, you can only give samples of one color to another player. So she'll pass the blue samples to the scientist who is better in finding the cure. And now she'll try to find a cure for yellow. She needs a 13. With five dice. Oh, uh, sorry, a 13. Did I say 13? I did. So that's 8, 10, 15, 17. We found the yellow cure. We found the cure for the yellow disease. So we place one die on this card just to mark we found the yellow cure. All yellow dies used are returned into the bag, plus all yellow ones in the treatment center. There are none. And the bottle dies are returned to their owners. Great. Now, the containment specialist. He rolls no biohazards, that's cool. We are looking for blue samples so he could move with the ship over here to the blue spot. And wouldn't it be awesome to have some syringes because he cannot take the samples from here. He has to put them in the treatment center before 
So I'll re-roll. There's only one surge on his die. Yep, I'll just risk re-rolling two. Great, that's one syringe which I'll use to put a die into the treatment center. I'll use a bottle to sample it, take a sample. And, ha, by the way, I forgot something. When he moved over here, his special ability says he can put a die of each color that has two or more dies into the treatment center. So, there's another one in the treatment center and he will take a sample. Now, it would be awesome to roll a transportation, a plane or a ship, to move him back to the scientist to give her the two samples. Let's see if we roll this. That's a ship. Things are going pretty good here. He's moving back. Then we pass on the samples to the scientist, who's on the same spot. And he rolls for infection. One, two, three dice from the infection bag. A blue one, a red four, and a yellow five. Okay, scientist's turn. She rolls all her dice and she rolls a biohazard. And now the infection rate goes to the next section, to the spot showing this little explosion sign. This means a pandemic. And you have to roll three dice, as many dice as shown on the track here, plus all dice in here. So it's good we cleaned that up. This can be pretty, pretty dangerous if you have like five dies in here. Let's see what happens. We have a cross, we have a blue three and a yellow four. Okay. Now we still need blue samples. <laughs> By the way, she has a die with uh, die side with a choice between a ship and a syringe so she could move one two and she has no plane take a sample and then oh um, treat a die and then take a sample that would be another one that would be four dice for her roll plus two for her special ability plus a re-roll why not so two ships, she'll go one, two, treat a blue infection die and immediately takes a sample. That's her turn, that's her roll phase of the turn. Now she'll try to find a cure. We need a 13 or higher, but she has a plus two, so an 11 would be awesome. And that's only four. So even if we used the reroll for one die and rolled a six, that would be a ten plus two is twelve. So she didn't find a cure. No penalty here, only locked dice. Then we have the infection roll, three dice from the bag, yellow, red and black. <laughs> the red one can cause an outbreak, but yeah, we don't have any special event to prevent it. Wow, two crosses, great. And four, a yellow one. Next turn, generalists. Generalist rolls one. Uh, biohazard, but she can ignore the effect of the first one. And I think as much as we need yellow, uh, blue dice, blue samples, someone has to take care of these two dice. 
because I don't want to risk outbreaks. Hmm. So why not move her over here to a spot number four, region four. Now she'll treat a red die and she'll treat a yellow die. And just like in the board game, since we found a cure when treating a cured die, you can remove all dies of the color and put them in the treatment center. And now she has two bottles which are useless because I don't want to start another color. Or should I start taking red samples? 312. Statistically she could she could do it next turn. Yeah, so why not start with red? So she'll take a red sample and rolls she rerolls her die hoping for nope that's biohazard she was hoping for a syringe infection increases by one so she could try to find a red cure cure which is one die rolling a 13 is not very likely so we don't do that and infection phase she rolls one two three dice Red, black, and yellow. So a black three, yellow two, and red six. And it's the containment specialist's turn. He only rolls three dice because the other one are locked up here. And let's see what he comes up with. Hmm, that's a plane, a ship, and his special ability. <laughs> I'm thinking of maybe he can fly somewhere here or here to place another die, another blue die to the treatment center for the scientist to pick up. So I think he will fly here he will use his special die hmm, will he nah I want to have syringes I reroll that's a bottle and another plane nothing I want to have and Plane and his special ability and a biohazard. Not good. That uh, was too risky. Infection increases by one. Still, I want to have a surge. Come on. Another biohazard. Okay, that was bad luck or too much risk. Another biohazard and we have another pandemic. Not a very good turn, and one thing I keep forgetting, his special ability, he moved into a region with two or more dice of one color, so one is going to the treatment center. Should have happened when I just arrived at the space, but um, that's okay. And I could, used, could have used good planning. Okay, keep forgetting the events. The scientist's turn. Oh, haha, <laughs> not the scientist. CERN, we have, of course, an infection roll with three dice. By the way, you also lose if there are no more dice in the bag. We have two crosses and a three. Isn't that awesome? I don't want to have a pandemic right now because that would mean all those dice in the treatment center plus three um, would need to be rolled. So let's see what happens here. The scientist rolls. Wow, syringes, tons of syringes, that's cool. 
she will use one syringe for another to treat another blue infection dye. She will use another syringe to remove all yellow dyes. We can remove all because we found a, a cure for the yellow disease. To the bag, just in case she will roll um, a biohazard. And she wants to take the blue sample to increase her chances for the cure roll. And here we have the bottle for it. Isn't that awesome? Another ship or syringe. And I'd say we go for... Oh, uh, she you treat... Oh, she you treat the black one. She you treat the black one out of here because pandemic is close. Now she can try to find a cure again. Five dies she needs and 11 because she has plus two. This should be possible. This is 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, that's enough. We found the blue cure. I keep saying the blue cure. We found the cure for the blue disease. So all the blue dies here put back into the bag. Great. And those dice return to their owners. Now she has to roll for infection. Still three dice. Two red and a yellow. And this is a red one, a yellow two, and a red four. That's a lot of reds. On the spot with the generalist, that's great because the generalist started to collect rare samples. So let's see. Wow, no biohazard. That's awesome. And I think, okay, this one can get a bit dangerous. Three yellows. But she will just use three syringes to move the three red ones in here. And now she hopes for some bottles. Three bottles would be great. A biohazard, the first one she can ignore. And one bottle, which she, she will use. Huh. Still have the good planning here. But no, I keep rolling. A syringe, no. Another syringe, I want a bottle. Plane, come on. Syringe, syringe. Ship, plane, bottle. Sample. Yeah, it wasn't too dangerous because I got the containment attempt, reroll one player die with a biohazard result before it takes effect, so that was kind of safe. Now, she'll try to find a cure. Three dies, trying to roll a 13. That's a 7. And, hmm. She has, the red die has two sixes, so I will use two of those dice, let's say the black ones, put them back into the bag and use the re-examined research, it's used and another one shows up, to re-roll both of these. Only an 8, so no cure found, but that's okay. That's the end of her turn, roll for infection. Shuffle up the dice, three dice, two black and a red. That's a red one, a black three and a black five. Now containment specialist's turn, he's here, we're looking for red samples, so hopefully he can move over here. 
no biohazard, but a plane with the plane. He will fly over here with the syringe. Oh, wait. He can remove those two because of his special ability with the syringe. He'll treat another red dye and then he'll take two samples. And wouldn't it be great to give them to someone who could roll with them? So a plane would be great to travel over here. Hmm. Should we risk this? Yeah, we're playing on intro level, so I'll take some risk and I need a plane. Nope. Ship. Another bottle. Hmm. Another bottle. Okay. Don't push our luck too far, so. You take another red sample. End of his turn. Oh, he can try to find a cure, of course. Rolling the three dice. Ha! 18. Awesome. So we found the cure for the red disease. That was easy. All the red dye, dice, including reds in here, are returned to the bag. And the dice go back to their owners. Then we roll for infection. One, two, three. Wow, three blue ones. That's a one, a two, and a three. That was his turn. Let's see the new event we drew. When entering new region this turn, move one infection die from the region to the treatment center. Let's see if we use it because we have a lot of cross dies. Okay, let's go for the black disease. First, let's go for two biohazards. That's a one, two, and a pandemic happens, I roll three dice from the bag, include all dice from the treatment center and have to roll them. That's a cross, a red one, a red six and a blue two. Still no outbreak. And... Hmm. Three bottles but nothing to take samples. And she has two syringes, so let's go for, let's re-roll two dice, oops, missed it, hmm, another biohazard, infection increases by one, one syringe to move the blue dye in the treatment center and one bottle to take a sample. And she rolls for infection, still on three dice here. Next section would be four. And that's a red four, a red one, and a black three. Okay, we have to take care about the red and yellow ones here. Why the hell did I take a blue die? Okay, I'll reverse this, of course, I took the the black one. Okay. The generalist rolls one biohazard where she can ignore the effect. She's here and she has no plane. That's sad. So either reroll to reach the dangerous regions here. But I think she'll start by using a syringe, treat a black dye, take a sample. Hmm. And 
Okay, I'm a bit scared about these, uh, the 1, 2 and 3 and 6 region. So let's see if she finds a way to fly over there. That's a plane. Plane is great. So she will fly to spot number 1. Cure, not cure, but um, treat the red dyes. She can, you can remove all of them because we found a cure. Then she will move over here with her ship and she will use the mobile hospital card. We will return black dyes because we are looking for black samples. When entering new regions this turn move one in infection die from the region to the treatment center so we are kind of safe here. This is used and hmm. let's reroll this die. It's another ship which is useless. It would be great to have a plane to fly over there to give the, give the die to the scientist. Let's push our luck for a plane, syringe, ship, syringe, syringe, plane. Cool. She's here. Then she pass on the one black sample to the scientist. And roll for infection. Three dice. A six. Great, we removed one. A one. Great, we removed um, the other three. Mm, I wanted to check something on the last event when entering a move one infection die. It doesn't say treat an infection die, so it was really only one, not all of them. So I think I played that right. Containment specialist's turn. He's here. And he rolled a biohazard. Actually, what do we need? We need him to go over here, treat and collect samples and then pass them to the scientist. So I will use the containment attempt with a, let's say, a blue die. This is reroll one player die with a biohazard result before it takes effect, so I'll reroll this one. It's a syringe. A new one shows up. Then I will reroll, I will use the good planning effect using three cross dice. Set one, two, or three player dice to any result. We have our two syringes. To remove the black ones here so we need two bottles and we keep his special effect. So two syringes he'll use to move the two black dies here, two bottles to take two black samples and his uh, special effect, special effect die, uh, put up the three dies from the treatment center into the infection bag. <laughs> Actually a syringe would have been better because we could have removed all of them so it's only three. Okay at the end of his turn he'll pass. I moved the wrong, I moved, uh, nervous on camera, I moved the wrong pawn. Where was she? She was here, and I moved him here. I think it didn't change anything. Sorry. But of course I was playing him. He'll pass the two samples to the scientist. And rolls for infection. Three dice. 
blue, red and black. Okay. A cross, a blue one and a red six. And this is more than three red infection dice, so we have an outbreak. And every excess dice over three are moved clockwise to the next region, which could cause another outbreak and kind of chain reaction. Now let's hope the scientist will finish our game. Let's try to move her over here to get the, the fifth black sample. Hmm, two ships. She doesn't have a plane, so with two ships she could move here, treat the black one, and would need to reroll one to get a bottle. She has two bottle symbols. That's great. Oh, by the way, we use the planning action. And I only have one die to trigger events, and this is return one die to the infection bag instead of rolling it. So let's go for it. Two ships, she goes one, two, treats the black infection die, and now we need a bottle. That's a syringe. That's a bottle. Ship or bottle, I'll choose the bottle result to bottle another sample. And now she'll try to find a cure. Five dice with a plus two. Oops. Come on. And that's 10, 15, 21, plus 2, 23. So we found the cure, the fourth cure. We cured all the diseases and won the game. So that was a quick playthrough. It was an intro level and looked kind of easy. Maybe I'll do another one on standard level where I got crushed pretty often, so it's getting pretty tough. And um, that's the game. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next time for a standard game. Bye!